Hey guys, this is my worm farm aphid update. Uh, this is my son Zach's worm farm. It's just got a tote with some holes drilled in the top. As you see, we've got quite a few red worms in here. These are composting worms, which I feed them shredded cardboard. I've uh, got a packaging and shipping business, and we shred this cardboard to use it for uh, packaging. But as you can see, as they eat that, it breaks down into worm castings or worm poop. And it's got some beneficial uses in the garden. I mean, it's a great fertilizer, but it's also good for helping with insects. Um, I've got these screens that I made. One's eighth inch, one's quarter inch. I throw some of that in there, put it over a tarp or something and shake it. And we can harvest those worm castings to use. I'll take you over here and show you what I did with those worm castings. I've got this tote here that we put a gallon of water in, two thirds a cup of worm castings, and a tablespoon of normal table sugar. And we've got this fish tank aerator in here. Let that set for 12 to 24 hours. And that grows the beneficial enzymes and bacteria that will help to eat the outside of the aphids and cause them to die or irritate them enough that they'll leave. I strain that through this wash rag into a cup and you can see it looks just like tea. That's why they call it worm tea, I guess. I'm gonna fill up this spray bottle and spray that on the uh, underside and the tops of all the leaves, the stems of my tomato plants and bell peppers because that's what they seem to be attacking most. I may spray the grow bed itself. Uh, one of the things you don't want to do, I've got this empty bag of worm castings that you can't use those because it was packaged in plastic sealed for who knows how many weeks or months before used and that bacteria doesn't survive so it needs to be fresh worm castings. I'm going to spray that onto my tomato plants and the stems like I said maybe the gravel area just around it to I've got a pretty big problem going on. I've also got some diatomaceous earth on there which helps with some of the other insects and stuff so I'll let you know here in a few days if it takes care of my aphid problems can't really see it with the camera, but there's real tiny aphid eggs all up and down this stem. Let's see, you can kind of see little bumps right there. It's hard to see with the camera, but uh, we're going to see if that takes care of these and gets rid of this problem, and I'll let you know. And that's it for today.